Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing great mathematics. In this video, we will learn about a very interesting problem on geometry from the ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance. It's also useful for mathematical olympiads like IOQM, AMC 10 and so on. The problem is actually not very hard, but I will teach you how you can use a very simple observation, simple but not so simple observation to totally turn around a problem. So, what does the problem say? It says that we have a quadrilateral ABCD and we draw four squares. So, for example, a square like this, a square like this, a square like this, and so we are drawing four squares on the four sides of the quadrilateral. One important data that is given to us is that the angles of the quadrilateral, let's say this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D, the angles are less than 180 degree. All the angles are less than 180 degree. This means this is a convex quadrilateral. I have talked about convex and concave shapes in some other problems related to mathematical Olympiads in this channel. You can look into it. Now, with this data, what do we have to show? Well, the first thing that we have to show is that let me join these triangles. The first thing that we have to show is that these four triangles have a very interesting relationship. So this is delta 1, delta 2, delta 3, delta 4. Then we have to show that delta 1 minus delta 2 plus delta 3 minus delta 4 is equal to 0. That is the problem that, that came up in ISI entrance. But there is a second part of this problem, which did not come, come in the ISI entrance, but it's also a very interesting problem, and I'll give it to you as a challenge question at the end of this video. Okay, so give that a try as well. Now, let's look at this. Delta 1, delta 2, delta 3, delta 4. We have four squares and the four triangles are built out of the four sides of the squares and we want to show this relationship. How do we go about it? Well, since it's a square, each of them is a square. Suppose this side of the quadrilateral is x, y, z and w. Then this is x, this is y, this is z and this is z as well and this is w this is w this is x and this is z uh, i'm sorry this is y so we just label all the sides now what is the area of delta one what is the area of delta one so area of delta one is equal to so this angle is angle b so this must be 180 minus b this angle must be 180 degree minus b why is that well because this is 90 and this is 90 these two are squares so the 180 of these two makes up 180 so these two must make up 180 as well as a total angle is 360 degree around the point so this is 180 minus b therefore the area of delta 1 is half x y sine of 180 minus b which is same as half x y sine b sine of 180 minus b is sine b because and this is where we use it and this is the conceptual point this is because b is less than 180 degree so 180 minus b is a positive angle it could be a, an obtuse angle as well but it's a positive angle it's an acute or an obtuse angle so 180 minus b this angle will be a first quadrant angle or a second quadrant angle so sine will be positive 
That's the reason we are using all the angles to be less than 180 degree. Okay, so half sine V, that is the area of delta 1. That's great. Similarly, delta 2 is half YZ sine A. Area of delta 3 is half ZW sine D. And area of delta 4 is half XW sine C. Okay, so that's the four triangles area. Now comes the most interesting part. If you look at just the data that we have, then it can be a little bit confusing. We want to find out delta 1 minus delta 2 plus delta 3 minus delta 4, this quantity. And this can be a little bit confusing because it is half sine b, half xy sine b, minus delta 2 is half yz sine a, half yz sine a, delta 3 is half zw sine d, and delta 4 is half xw sine c. And it's impossible to just look at this expression and see that this is actually equal to zero. So why? Why is that zero? Now comes the turning point of the problem, the main observation. It's actually very easy when I tell you, but you have to observe it. So let me just join the diagonal AC. Then what is the area of this triangle ABC? Notice that this side is X, this side is Y, this side is angle B. So the area of triangle ABC is half, maybe I can write with red, half XY sine B. This is the exact what we angle that we have here. So this is also, this was delta 1, but this is also area of triangle ABC. Isn't that awesome? This triangle's area is equal to this triangle's area. Right? Similarly, delta 3, which is half ZW sine D, is same as ADC. So delta 3, which is this one, delta 3, is also equal to psi triangle DBC. I'm sorry, ADC, ADC, ADC. So if you add delta 1 and delta 2, delta 1 and delta 3, if you add these two, you'll get the entire quadrilateral ABCD. The entire quadrilateral ABCD is delta 1 plus delta 3. And if you draw the other diagonal, if I draw the other diagonal, I get exactly the area of the quadrilateral in the other way. So delta 1, delta 2 plus delta 4 is also quadrilateral ABCD. So of course, if you subtract them, they would give you 0. And we are done. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, now the challenge question. Take the center of the four squares that you have. Center of the four squares. And join them by straight lines, just like I have done here. Okay, so maybe like this. What can you say about these two lines that I have created? This one and this one. What can you say about that? This is a challenge question. We discussed this problem in the complex number module of our Math Olympiad program and ISI CMI entrance program. Chinta is a special place for students who love mathematical sciences. We work in small groups in a very personalized manner with students who are passionate about this subject. If you are interested in mathematical sciences, Check the link in the description and I think you will like what you will see. Alright?
Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and keep on doing good problems. Bye.